The suggestion that high levels of mercury in fish, or the, the, the suggestion that mercury is an issue with fish, how significant do you think is that? Well, I think it's a, a strange phenomenon that, that some organization in the United States, and followed like a sheep by people in Britain and Europe, would argue that uh, because there's mercury in fish, I mean, there's mercury in practically everything for a start, but because there's mercury in fish, uh, women who are pregnant should not eat more than two fish a week kind of thing. I mean, it, there's not a scrap of toxicological evidence to support that, that statement. Uh, if you take the Japanese, the World Health Organization has several criteria for the health of a nation but to make comparative studies for various purposes. And the um, two of the cr major criteria are uh, firstly, how well are you brought into the world? What, how good is the pregnancy and the birth rate? Secondly, how long do you stay in the world? Your longevity, you see? So these are two pretty, like, WTA likes simple things to be, that are really good quantitative measures. And on both those scores, Japan has the best records. Uh, Japan has the best health record of any industrial country, as I've mentioned before, for heart disease and cancer. Um, it has the least amount of heart disease and cancer. So effectively, you've got these Japanese ladies getting pregnant, producing the healthiest people in the industrialized world. And the people who live the longest in the industrialized world, and I may say they're also pretty bright, uh, and they eat fish every day of the week, or seafood, and sometimes twice a day. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, well, <laughs> the whole thing's ludicrous. There's not a scrap of toxicological evidence from Japan that this does any harm whatsoever. In fact, what the evidence shows is that exceeding the sort of nonsense that these people are recommending, that, 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 that um, does benefit. And this has been uh, pretty well confirmed by the ASPAC study in Bristol, in which Joe Hilburn from the National Institutes of Health in the United States and Jean Golding from the Bristol University um, got together now, the, the Bristol team had set up a study several years ago where they recruited 14,000 pregnant women. Now, that, that, this is the biggest study of its kind that's ever been done. And they followed the children up to uh, 10, 12 years of age. <clears throat> the study had been going for a number of years, and Joe Hibbon came along and said, uh, look, we can use this study to test the possibility that the children who are born from mothers who ate more fish than the FDA is advising will have all these behavioral abnormalities and cognitive deficits that are supposed to be induced by mercury toxicity. Uh, well, when they did the study and they looked at the diets of the mothers during the pregnancy and compared them with the uh, cognitive and fine motor skills with the behavioral pathology and all the rest of it, it was the opposite way around. It was the women who ha um, ate in accordance with the advisory had the worst behavioral pathology, the worst cognitive development in their children at eight years of age. And uh, this is what they're supposed to be protected from. And the, 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 the children born from the mothers who had exceeded what the advisory is now recommending um, had the best uh, performance in, in, in school terms at eight years of age. So in effect, what Joe's been saying and what, what the paper in The Lancet says last year, that these advisories are actually doing harm. Mr. Crawford, there's been some link in the media here between ingestion of mercury via seafood and autism. Are there any links as far as you're aware? I, I, I doubt that very much. Autism is one of the sort of seven uh, neurodevelopmental disorders that, that are very much associated with adverse pregnancy outcomes of one form or another. Um, you've got severe central nervous system damage like cerebral palsy, you, you've got uh, learning defects, you've got behavioral pathology, you've got autism, you've got epilepsy. Um, there are a number of dis brain disorders uh, that are uh, caused by disturbance of the brain's development. And it's not something that you, if you eat a, a tuna fish sandwich or something, you're going to become autistic. That, that's nonsense.